In this video, I'm going to talk about the configuration of the eBGP between the P and C. You know that we learn about configuring multiple routing protocols between the PE and CE and also some of the details about these routing protocols. But now I'm going to show you how you can use BGP between the P and C. You know that in this course we configured in multiple times the IBGP between the PE routers, but now I'm going to configure eBGP between the PE and C. This scenario is configured before with the EIGRP. Because of that, now I'm going to use the notepad file of that scenario, the notepad file of the EIGRP scenario. And after some change, we can use this notepad file for this scenario. Let me to talk about the BGP after configuring the initial part of the scenario. We can talk about the detail of the BGP and we will learn about the two features that we need them, AS override and also allow AS. Let me first defining the scenario. In this scenario, we have a service provider and also uh, we have two customers, customer A and customer B. Customer A has two sites and customer B has two site also. And also, as you can see, customer A is, uh, is uh, the uh, residing in the AS65001 and customer B also is residing in the AS65002. This means that the service provider AS uh, is 65000 and the customer A, uh, AS number is uh, 65001 and customer B's AS number is 65002. I'm going to configure ISIS inside of the service provider. You know that we need one IGP routing protocol inside of the service provider. You can use OSPF or ISIS. Here, I'm going to use the ISIS. And after that, we have the EBGP between the R1 and R5, P and C, R1 and R6, and R4 and R7, and R4 and R8. First, we need to configure the scenario for the service provider. After that, we can talk about the detail. This is the configuration of the EIGRP scenario, exactly this scenario with EIGRP between the P and C. And I'm using this notepad file to configure the rotors. You know that the first things that we should configure is the IP addressing. Let me to review EN conf T hostname R1 in R1 here. First, we configured ETH00 in that scenario. And as you can see, the ISIS network point to point configured here. The IP address of this interface is 10.1.2.1.255.255.255.0. Then I configured one loopback interface, interface loopback 0, with the IP address of 192.168.2541.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255
and we don't need to configure loopback interface on the router too. Only two Ethernet 00 and 01 interface now are available. Hostname R2, we have two interface. The ETH00's IP address is 10.122 slash 24 and the ETH01's IP address is 10.132 slash 24. I configured ISIS network point to point on both of these interfaces and then I enabled both of them. Also, router ISIS, we have the net here because we are using the, uh, for example, ISIS, we need to configure net address. IS type is level 2 only and log adjacency change all here. I didn't use passive interface loopback 0. Also, we have ETH00 and ETH01 with the IP router ISIS. This is the router 2's configuration, copy and pasting on the router 2. Now we expect to see the ISIS neighborship between the router 1 and router 2. Yes, we have neighborship between router 1 and router 2. And if you want, you can stop the video, play, uh, configure, and then play the video. Let me to go to the router 3. In router 3, we have en conf t hostname r3. Again, IP address of the ETH00 is 10343 the slash 24 with ISIS network type of point to point and ETH01's IP address is 10233 slash 24 with the ISIS network point to point. Now you can understand why we need to use this uh, formula for IP addressing because it's easier to understand, it's faster to configure and it's a good practice for every, uh, for example, learner that using the uh, standard method for IP addressing. Here I don't need to write the IP address of the link here because you know that the link between router 1 and router 2 has the IP address of 10.1.2.0 slash 24. Because of that, it's a good practice for using some features like the, like it in the, for example, learning process. Very good. Then, router ISIS. First, I configured net address again, IS type level 2, log adjacency change all, and then I enabled ISIS on both ETH00 and ETH01. Copying the configuration, copy and then pasting on the router 3. This is the router 3. Very good. Now we expect to see another neighborship with the router 2. Look at here. After some second, yes, now we have one neighborship with router 2, ISIS neighborship. And the final router in the service provider is router 4. EN conf t host name is R4. Interface ETH00 has IP address of 10344 slash 24 with the ISIS network type of point point. And then here we need loopback 0 interface because we have we need to configure BGP between R1 and R4. Interface loopback 0's IP address is 10 is 192.168.2544 slash 22. Rotor ISIS, the net address configured, IS type level 2 only, log adjacency change all, passive interface loopback 0, and then for interface ETH00, IP rotor ISIS. Let me to copy the, this part of configuration. And then pasting on the rotor 4, in router 4, you know that we expect to find the, uh, for example, neighborship to see the neighborship, ISIS neighborship between router 3 and router 4. Yes, we have neighborship. Now we can check the connectivity between loopback IP address of, uh, IP address of the router 1 and router 4. Ping from router 1, 192.168.2544 with the source of loopback 0. Okay, yes, we have connectivity. Now we can configure BGP neighborship between the router 1 and router 4. Don't mistake that this is the BGP neighborship between the router 1 and router 4, 2P routers, not the BGP or eBGP between the P and C. You know that here we have iBGP inside the service provider. Then, starting from router 1 to configuring BGP. Router BGP 65000. First, I disabled the advertisement of IPv4. Then we have one neighbor, neighbor 192.168.2544, remote AS65000, and the next neighbor is 192.168.2544, update source loopback 0. Okay, and finally, we need to enable address family VPNv4 for this neighbor, address family VPNv4, neighbor 192.168.2544, activate. You know that when you are using this command, automatically one command added, and that is neighbor 192.168.254, for send community extended. If you configure or if you do not configure this command, automatically this command should be added to the configuration. Look at here, let me, in R1, I configure this command here, conf t, and then pasting this configuration, very good. Then in router 4, we have router BGP 65000, no BGP default IPv4 unicast, neighbor 192.168.2541, 
Remote AS65000, neighbor 190 268 up to its source loopback 0, address family VPN before, neighbor 190 